Richard Smith and I'm the owner of the award-winning showroom in Doncaster. As a business, we, we're obviously a high street shop, but we also have an online presence. We've done incredibly well and seen exceptional growth when so many other businesses on the high streets are struggling. And we put that down, of course, the quality products that we sell, high-end products. The service that the showroom offers is absolutely second to none and it's key and core to everything that we do. We provide an experience. It's that interaction, it's that relationship and that rapport that we build with our customers that keep them coming back. We're always looking for answers to where are we going, what's the end game. We decided to look at some kind of business coaching. So we met John McHale at the Doncaster Business Showcase. We warned him straight away, he's an incredibly positive person. He captured us the way he spoke to us the the ideas and the inspiration really he inspires us the first thing that john actually got me with he asked me when i was going to retire and my answer was very quick very simple i won't ever retire probably because i'm not wealthy enough to retire so he said ah so if you had a choice would you retire and i said yeah i'd probably retire today and he said well i want you as a business owner to be able to make that choice and I think I can help you make that choice. And we started with where we sat right now, where we've been and where we were gonna go to. It was all about helping us to put systems in place and then equally important, setting targets, financial targets and setting goals for marketing and advertising and developing, developing the business, adapting if we need to along the way to make sure that we can reach those goals and targets. John's an incredibly positive person, very warm in retail, especially in the current situation with COVID. It's easy to get down. John comes along, he lifts you, but he, he inspires you. Very sharp, very quick, and he's got the answers. I'm searching for answers. But the COVID situation is unprecedented. It's affected so many businesses in so many ways. And in the past, I think just over 10 months now, We've had our shop doors closed. There's no access for customers for nearly five months already. So during that time, since March last year, we as a business have, have had to adapt. Now, although we have an online presence, it's not where our heart is. We much prefer to engage with our customers. So messaging through social media, telephone calls are even better, video calls better still. And that keeps us in touch with our customers um, when we closed our doors for the first time. I said to Michelle, let's write off 2020. It's incredible really for a high street shop, but with four months shop closures, we still did 2019's revenue. John's been partly responsible for that because he gives us ideas for marketing and strategies. And um, in December, he gave us a target, which was higher than December 19's target. But we smashed it, John. We smashed December. John's given us a lot of advice. And rather than seize money in the bank and stock on the shelves and customers coming and going, um, I now look at figures. And so, yes, we've got systems in place and uh, practices that we're working with daily and it's improving the business probably giving us a little bit of direction on on making changes um, in certain areas of the business investing here or reducing investment there one of the um, things that coaching has had on me personally i don't get as stressed because it is what it is maybe the biggest thing actually is i now have a goal i have an end game uh, and i didn't before <laughs> Thank you.